Hi and welcome to the Data Pitman channel. Today we're going to talk about dynamic graphs and we're going to use a file roughly based on a file submitted to the Facebook Gaffy page with a request for help. As you can see, it's a very simple CSV file here, but it has a start and an end date and it has source and target. This means that this is an edge list, okay? We're going to import this edge list and then convert this in a way that the edges will be dynamic. Okay, so let's see. We're going to start here, put file, uh, import spreadsheet. Uh, when we try to import the spreadsheet, it automatically detects the CSV file as an edge table. Okay, when we ask for next, then we will see that the timestamps were thought to be timestamps. Uh, but the problem is that if you do that, and just import directly, it will give you an error, or maybe it will work if your dates are not separated by slashes, but dashes. But anyhow, you won't be able to create an interval that's needed for your dynamic graph. So first of all, we have to change the time representation and import settings to intervals. And when we do so, all time will be considered strings they won't be uh, wrongly found as uh, timestamps here. Then we just click finish. You see there will be no errors at all. You can see that it found uh, five nodes and created several edges with different uh, starting and ending timestamps. Now we have to perform two things. First of all, as you can see, when you do import a, a edge table, you won't have labels on your nodes so first we have to copy data from the id to the label so that our labels our nodes have labels and then we have to generate the interval to do so we're going to merge columns select uh, both timestamps okay and ask in the merge strategy to create time interval and click ok uh, i'm just selecting here start the end one and pause the data and the data we have to put it with the slashes here to be correctly understood if it is with dashes you have to correct this uh, it depends a lot on if this is the first time that you're running this maybe it will be with dashes separating you can use any kind of date format here if you can if you're using um, day month year or month day year it doesn't matter you can just change the date format to fit to the kind of date format that you're using okay then just click OK, and there you go, we have all the intervals. If we go to o the overview now, you can see that uh, they put just the option to enable the timeline. I'm just, just going to do a very, very short uh, application of some beautification. It's still big here. OK. OK, apply. There you go. Uh, change colors and apply and ask to put the labels and there you can see after we're going just to run the first one high angle this is just an, a, a simple example we're going to stop first one high angle and enable timeline no now we have a timeline with the dates in a kind of a unix format probably we're going to just going to change this and put it together here and also we can uh, make the edges uh, as you can see the lines are too really 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 too dim i'm going to change the edges to a much more visible scale uh, i'm not going to use node color i'm just going to put a selection color if it's in out and so and put some zoom and as you can see we have here just one edge being presented and if i play this you can see that the edges are being presented even with the direction of them during time based on the data that I have just put it on. Okay, this was a very simple and straightforward uh, example here for, for the internet. I hope this helps uh, the requester and also maybe this would be helpful for other people out there. So please, if you enjoyed this video, give a thumbs up, uh, subscribe to the channel, activate the notification button and See you next time.